Today we're going to rip a DVD on the Mac for free using a program called MacX DVD Ripper Pro. Go to the website and download the free trial. Uh, please note that this is uh, current as of uh, Thursday, 1st of August 2013. Um, may not be um, current forever, obviously. Um, Mac X DVD Ripper Pro, download that, um, open it up, start the software um, running, and um, when you press the DVD button, if you've got a a DVD loaded into your drive, uh, you'll get this option. You can press OK. The software will analyze your disk. This is another piece of software I've got um, in the background called Little Snitch. It tells me if any software is trying to communicate through the internet. Um, in this case, Mac DVD Ripper Pro is communicating to their um, meta services. I'll allow it doesn't really matter, um, but this um, tutorial is not about little snitch software today, it's about cloning a DVD ISO image. That's your option there, DVD backup and clone DVD to ISO. If you choose that image, uh, that's that option, um, interestingly with the trial, which is supposedly limited to five minutes, um, if you choose the ISO option, um, that five minute limit uh, doesn't apply, which is a fantastic feature of this trial um, because you're not, you're not limited to, to how many um, trial rips you do um, on the current version of MacX DVD Ripper Pro. So um, I'm sure um, all uh, people that like to rip DVDs for free will be quite interested in this feature. As I said, not sure how long it will last. Um, you can see that the remaining time's counting up. That's yeah, just a small glitch on this software. Um, basically, it's converting the file. You can see that 1% is done, and um, it generally takes about 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave this and come back to it in, um, in 20 minutes' time and show you the results. Okay, thanks. Okay, so it finished um, ripping that DVD. Gives you that message again when it's finished. Um, you can now delete that section that you made and now just go to your um, folder where you put that ISO image. Um, in this case, um, it's ripped out 8 gigs, which um, indicates that the DVD was a dual layer DVD. Single layers are um, just over 4 gigs. So um, you can double click that ISO image and that will open up a folder which is identical to a DVD. So if you then open up something like um, Apple DVD Player, um, you go to the file menu on DVD Player and choose Open DVD Media and again just select the um, just select the uh, ISO that you just opened, just to show you, this is the DVD that I put in to rip. I'll eject that, and uh, this this is the copy that we just created. So if you choose that to open and play that, you've got a perfect working copy of that DVD disc. Um, in addition, uh, if you want to make a copy. Um, of that ISO um, in the finder you can go and um, burn the, the Django kill ISO to disk and that should make a fully working copy as well um, so but the be be better option would be to um, put it through something like toast or something like that if you want to burn it onto a DVD but this was to show you how to rip the DVD for free and uh, would just Showing you how to do that using a free trial. Um, hope you liked uh, the how-to video.